Well, you know what one of my favorites is? Mm. Streets of Bakersfield. Oh, uh, that was my young friend Dwight, huh? You know, there's only one problem that I see with this car. What is it? What is it? Well, it's Back got, on it's, it. yeah, it's got bug, but I think, I think we need Dwight down here somewhere. Well, I was going to have that put on there, but see, Dwight is about six or eight letters. Well, you know, if you, if you, you add a little piece up here, yeah, I think it's good. Reviving Legends, the timeless tale of Streets of Bakersfield by Dwight Yoakam and Buck Owens. Our story begins in the late 1950s, an era dominated by the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Eight number one country hits in less than two years left an indelible mark on the Billboard charts. But as times changed, so did the country music scene, leading to a 19-year gap between Elvis's country chart toppers. Fast forward to Bakersfield, where Buck Owens, the pioneer of the Bakersfield sound, had his own share of glory. After a remarkable streak of hits, Owens faced a lull in chart toppers. However, his legacy endured, setting the stage for an unexpected revival in 1988, all thanks to a collaboration with Dwight Yoakam. A rising star rapidly gaining ground in the country music scene. In 1987, Yoakam's deep admiration for Buck Owens prompted an unannounced visit to Owens' office in Bakersfield. Now, how'd you two get together? Well, Dwight came to Bakersfield uh, one day, he booked at the fair, and he walked into my office. He didn't write, he didn't call, he didn't do anything. And he knew he'd been booked there for six months, and he walked in and told my secretary, he says, I, I, uh, I'd like to see Buck Owens. <laughs> and, and so uh, I said, well, bring that dude in here. And, and he and I became friends. I like Dwight a lot. I, yeah. I, as a matter of fact, I think of Dwight as a son. This encounter sparked a unique partnership bringing Buck Owens out of a brief retirement. The reunion of Dwight Yoakam and Buck Owens was no coincidence. It began with a surprise visit and culminated in a memorable performance at the Country Music Association's 20th anniversary television special. The chemistry between these two artists caught the attention of radio DJs nationwide, setting the stage for something extraordinary. Now let's delve into the heart of our story the inspiration behind Streets of Bakersfield. This iconic track traces its roots to Homer Joy, an aspiring songwriter who wandered the streets of Bakersfield, crafting a song that would become a hidden gem in the Bakersfield sound. Following electrifying performances, Dwight and Buck decided to immortalize Streets of Bakersfield in a studio version. Featured on Yoakam's Buenas Noches from a Lonely Room album, the single climbed the Billboard country chart. By October 15, 1988, it reached the number one spot, marking Buck Owens' 21st chart topper and Dwight Yoakam's very first. It seems that Dwight Yoakam, right from the time that he was a little fella with holes in his jeans, he was a big fan and admirer of Buck Owens. So when he grew up and started making a career in music, Dwight went all the way across the country to Bakersfield, California to sing a song with Buck. That wraps up the remarkable story of Streets of Bakersfield. If you enjoyed the journey, give it a thumbs up, share with friends, and hit subscribe for more. Your support matters. Until next time, keep the music alive. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.